Ah, I love hoarding. Finally, game stopped open. This show is intended for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Hoarding. Hello humans and thank you for joining me in another episode of the Gen X Gamer. Remember to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, smash the like button. Now let's get ready for the show. On today's episode... Hello humans and welcome to another episode of Gen X Gamer. Hoarding edition. Game hoarding baby. <laughs> oh man look at this bag is full. It's full. But let me tell you GameStop finally opened. They almost have nothing. I went to two different ones. I did my best to hoard guys, but they're just not a lot out there for seventh generation. PS3, nothing. Just pure disc. I didn't want to spend my money just on disc. I might as well just go digital. I need the cases, right? So I'm going to go over with what I bought. And right now they have a sale for buy two, get two free at, for $9.99. So it makes the game five bucks. It keeps us on budget. So Let's get started with what I have here, what I picked up in this box. First, I'm going to start off with one of the um, subjects of my next video, which is Galaxian. I bought this little mini Galaxian machine because I have a great story about <laughs> somebody getting beat up <laughs> with Galaxian and, and it was back when I was like 12 years old, but anyway. Here is the mini machine, it's on sale as you can see for $10.97 and then I got a little extra discount because of my me membership. Let's start with that. Then I got some Xbox 360, I got one Wii U, so Zombie U, just another add to the Wii U collection, five buckaroos, can't go wrong, can't go wrong. I haven't played it but let's see what this is about. Up next, <sighs> The Godfather 2 on the Xbox 360. There was a lot of Xbox 360 guys. I'm glad I got this one. I'm a big fan of the movies, of course. They're from my time when I was a kid. And um, I haven't heard much about the game, but I didn't have it in my collection, so I'm glad I added to it. Now, as you know, I'm a big sports fan, and I didn't have this one. This is NBA Ballers Chosen One. Let's see. Let's just see. I don't know. I haven't heard anything about it. One that I got that I never see out there, and I got it because just I wanted to have it, right? It doesn't have the case, but you got to have this one. Look at them, Dead or Alive Extreme 2. Yes, bathing suits, baby. That's right, bathing suits. All right, here's a classic. Here's a classic, and don't tell me it's not a classic. I've been waiting for this one to come down in price. When I saw it first, it was like $29, and it just kept coming down, coming down, coming down, until I finally got it. Bully. <laughs> Scholarship Edition. Now this is my favorite part about this game. Look, they left notes in here, right? I always love it when, when I find things that the people leave behind, you know? Their own little stories. Um, and hopefully somebody sees this video. <laughs> All right, so here's the cheats. He actually wrote down the cheats. Um, Holy Scholarship Edition. Uh, cheats, Bully Scholarship Edition, page one, and he wrote down meticulously here all his little cheats. Look at that! Oh man, so good, so good. And there's even extra pages. I mean, like he went into it, like he he really, really got into this game. So 
if you're out there, know that it's going to a good home. I'm going to keep your notes in here. I'm going to use them. FYI, your childhood is safe with me there, young friend. Even, and I know it's a kid because he put Shrek you know, and his wife there, so let's see. And of course, the book is there. I've wanted to play this game for a very long time. I read about it when it came out, and I was like, man, that looks like a cool game. And I never got to it, man. I never had the chance to play it uh, when it first came out, and then afterwards, just because of the way it, you know, I collect games, I don't like paying top dollar if I don't have to and I knew a game like this eventually would come down and I just kept getting worried because it, it would never come down in price it was always up there it never go on sale <laughs> and finally it did it took a pandemic but it did all right got me a magazine it's free because I'm a member they prefer members all right what else? there's more kiddos there's more now here's the game I started playing on the Game Pass, and I didn't finish it, but I really, really liked it. I was enjoying the heck out of it. I have my save state on my Xbox, so now I can continue it. It's Wolfstein, the New Colossus Ooh. 2. Wolfstein 2, the New Colossus, so it's there, and I'm ready to play it, baby. I'm ready to continue, because I was actually having a good time with that game. All right. How many will I got? Uh, whew, I got one that I heard is a good game, and uh, I never had, the, you know, the chance to buy it, and now I do. Rise, Son of Rome. So I've heard it's good for five buckaroos. Actually, half of that. It's not that bad. I guess. Okay, another game that I didn't own. I know this was on previous generation hardware too, Evil Within. I have heard nothing about this game because I really wanted to play it. So I, those kind of games, I try to stay away from any info because I just want to enjoy them like it was the very first time. So that's how hoarding works. Warhammer is a series that I barely started playing this year. All this time it's been around, I barely started playing it. I played a little bit on, again, the Game Pass. I get a little taste of it. I got a little taste of it. Hey, and now I own it. So that's pretty awesome. And last but not least, this is a game that my son told me about, actually. And man, I have I played it and I enjoyed it and I and I saw it online too, but it was a little bit more expensive. And now I have it for seven buckaroos, and that's Slay the Spire. It's a card game. And um you know, the little I played with it, I have to say I enjoyed the strategy of it. You know, and I got far and then I got stuck, restarted again. Man, that was, uh, <laughs> that was as far as I got. And then my trial uh, ended, so now I own these. All right, guys, what I'm going to do, I don't know if you noticed, I've uploaded videos for the next few weeks on Sunday. And what I want to do and I know everything changes right with this whole pandemic I've been trying to do things that, that I haven't been able to do um, I think the, the only thing that I've kept up constant is the Atlas Mega 10 Mondays the Sega Saturdays are just, I just don't have enough time I have so so much work right now I've actually worked through this pandemic and I'm just running out of time so at least I wanted to get ahead on the Sunday videos, make those about video game reviews, um, maybe a little bit of story time within them, or my thoughts on the games. I shouldn't say reviews, just what a but oh, look at that. Beard Flex, Odin is with us. Um, just what I think about the games, you know, in, in general, um, and my experiences with them, or when I played them, when I've enjoyed them, what have you. Um, and then if once I get ahead with that, I'll sprinkle in a few different things, man. I have all kinds of games. The videos could be about anything. Um, this one coming up, don't miss it. Because it's, <laughs> it's gonna be um, it's gonna be informative. <laughs> Avoid why not to live in a bad neighborhood. <laughs> 
how I grew up <laughs> rather quickly in a bad neighborhood. All right, guys, that was a quick hoarding video. Remember, when it comes to hoarding, too much is never enough. <laughs> Don't be afraid to be happy. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Thank you for joining me on another episode of the Gen X Gamer. Remember to like and subscribe, click the notification bell, and remember, never be afraid to be happy. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.